This is the Trump TPT165 panel cutter. Um, and this is a short video just to explain about uh, some tips and tricks of how to use it and how to get the most out of it. So as you can see, this is as it comes. Um, when we hire these out, it comes with a bottle of oil. It comes with two clamps, um, which are to clamp your guide rail onto the panel. And it also comes with the guide rail. So when you buy these brand new, this guide rail is one solid piece, but for transport, we've cut it in half. So all you'll need to do is put them together. And then there's a small grub screw there. And all you need to do is tighten that so it can put them together. Now you don't have to use the guide rail, but it does allow you to get the most out of the machine and it does provide better performance. So just quickly, uh, the panel cutter is a plunge saw. So it consists of a trigger, which as soon as you press that, the chain starts going. And if you then, with your other hand, move this down, you can see the actual saw itself. So importantly, when we supply this tool for hire, this chain will be brand new. So it'll never done any cutting in its life. So what that does mean is that after about 20 meters of cutting, you will need to retension it. If you don't retension it, then the chain will be slack and it could lead to excess vibration and also your cutting performance won't be as good. To increase the tension of the chain, all you need to do is get the tool out of the back of the machine. It just slots in there. Get that out. And then there's a little um, screw in there. And all you need to do is tighten it up. If you tighten it too much and you find that this blade here um, gets a bit formed, then all you need to do is put it in and slacken it again slightly. Now there should be, if you put your fingers and move it, there should be one and a half mil of play on this side and this side. So around half of the chain. If there's not, then you need to do something with it. You'll also notice on the side of the unit, there is, you know, will be a label and a small cap here. This will be pushed further in. Um, this is a cap for a finger guard. So if you're using on-tool extraction, which we strongly recommend, you need to pop that off and put it somewhere safe. Using on-tool extraction allows you to get mo the most out of the machine. It also means that there's less debris, there's less uh, swarf going about, and there's also less insulation especially if you're cutting mineral wool, less of that to get in your lungs. So it's a lot safer, it's a lot more efficient, and you get more out of your machine because it's doing less work with the extraction. So at this point, if you put two clamps, one at either side, then this should be firm to the panel. So all you need to do is to use one hand to set the saw to the correct depth that you want. And then once it's set, you put your extraction in and you're good to go, you just turn it on. Now this isn't plugged in, um, but essentially you just slowly and gently and smoothly just move it. The, the key thing is, is that you should let the saw do the work. So you should not be forcing the saw through the panel. If you do that, then you won't get a nice clean finish it might blunt the blade and blunt the saw um, quicker than had it do it itself. Now, one thing about the saw and the guide rail, you can cut 200 mil thick panels with this saw. The blade is more than that. But when you use it with the guide rail, you can cut panels that are about 195 mil thick. 
So if you are cutting 200 mil thick panels, you cannot use this guide rail. So the best thing to do is to get rid of the guide rail and use it yourself. Now one thing with that is that obviously you can move it side to side without use of the guide rail. So you could, if you wanted, to put the machine tight up against the guide rail to give you some stability, or you could just do it by hand. One thing to note is that if you move the panel, uh, sorry, the panel cutter, a fraction of a centimeter, even as much as a couple of millimeters, and you're cutting big thick panels, a slight movement on top means that you'll get about a five mil play on the bottom. So it's crucial that you are sl slow and steady and do it in a straight line. If you want to draw lines on the panel, things like that, then you can do. On that, you will see that there are some small notches around on the panel cutter. So this notch here is the line that the panel, that the blade takes. So you want any line that you draw on the panel to match it up with that. Now you've got these two notches here. So these relate to when the blade is plunged fully down. So I'll quickly show you that. So you'll notice that you've got one notch, which is one side of the blade and one at the other. So the saw will only ever cut as far as this. And now you've got another notch down the back here. And that relates to the blade coming back, being fully retracted. So if you're doing apertures or cutouts, things like that, then this back line here you need to know or be aware of. Um, the only other key thing to mention with the extraction is that it's thoroughly recommended to use it and we recommend an M-Class extractor. Um, in, after this video, you'll notice there are two more videos on the online course. One relates to daily maintenance and some daily checks. One relates to cleaning the, the tool, which is essential at the end of every day. And then there's also some uh, downloadable files, and that includes things like there's a cleaning guide on there, but there's also some tips and tricks how to avoid or minimize panel delamination while using this saw. If you need any more information, it can be found at cladingthemate.co.uk, vaclifting.co.uk, or you can just give our office a ring on 0370 741 7600. Thank you.